Now, being on top of the world doesn't always mean feeling good, especially when it's minus 30 outside, I know that, and uh, blizzards blow you off your feet. Now, such challenges haven't put off a group of polar hopefuls in their intensive preparations for a journey to the North Pole. And as Primetime's Ivor Bennett found out, they hope to start a chain reaction. Balancing on beams 10 metres off the ground, with only those around you for support. This may look extreme, but it's nothing compared to what these guys will face come April, an expedition to the North Pole. So all of this is to demonstrate the importance of teamwork. The only thing we're allowed to hold on to is each other. So if one falls, then we all do. Right, let's give this a go. Meet the crack team of explorers, mostly teenagers plus a couple of parents. They'll each be dragging 40 kilogram loads for seven days in one of the most hostile environments on Earth. These are their final preparations for the 110 kilometre journey. I'm very excited about it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, but I, I know it's going to be very difficult at the same time. So I'm, kind of, I'm a bit nervous about it. The seven strong team will use stoves like these to cook their meals. Melting snow for water. All they'll have for shelter is this tent, the perfect weather to practice in. The expedition is to raise money for a charity helping Russian children from poor backgrounds realise their extraordinary talents. One potential benefactor is a young ballet dancer. Hopefully he'll, he'll become a famous dancer and use his talent to give back to others and then help, um, you know, sick kids or orphans and things like that. So the main idea is talented child could help much more people around him. Before their physical challenge, though, the boys have a financial one. They have to raise £100,000 for the charity. If they don't reach the target, the expedition's off. They're pitching their fundraising idea to businessmen in Moscow. It's been tough finding donations so far, but this pitch was successful. It so happens the idea is very close to my heart, because it's optimistic and healthy. It's about helping young and brilliant people and enables them to achieve a new level of success. It's not an attempt to support the poor of poor, it's about aiding future benefactors. The inexperienced team is in the capable hands of Matt Vesparo. One of the only two men to reach the North Pole in the depths of winter, he's no stranger to the challenges ahead. It doesn't matter how long your trip to the North Pole is, seven days or 90, you'll face the same challenges. Drifting ice, open water, polar bears, crazy winds, and temperatures 35 degrees below zero. And no matter what, every morning you have to leave this warm, comfortable tent and keep going to make your 18 kilometers. Determination and teamwork got us through some hairy moments on the assault course, and they'll need plenty more of that where they're heading. But you don't have to go to the North Pole to enjoy this activity centre. It's here for anyone with a bit of guts who wants an adventure. And the best part is safe till last. And now finally for the fun part. Let's go. I think after all this, I might even want to go to the North Pole. Ivan Bennett, Prime Time Russia, RC.